Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science, and today I'm going to be reacting Mercury with bromine. A couple of you suggested that I react it with gallium and mercury, and since I don't have gallium, I'm just going to do mercury. These are my two favorite elements on the periodic table, and they're also both the only liquids at room temperature on the periodic table. This mercury came from a thermostat, the old type, that uses a mercury bulb. The easiest way I've found to open them is just to use some wire snippers, put it under a cloth, and just chip off the top. As you can see, I transfer the mercury into a small test tube. Now it's time to open up the bromine ampule. This ampule's been pre-scored, so it's pretty easy to just break off the top. I'm using a glass pipette to put in a few milliliters of bromine over top of the mercury. I was really anxious to try this reaction because there wasn't much information on it on the internet other than a brief covering of it on Wikipedia. And as far as I know, this reaction's never been recorded because I couldn't find any videos on it, so this is the first recording of this reaction. It took a couple minutes, but an exothermic reaction started, and it is hot enough to start boiling the bromine. It's been about four minutes now, and you, as you can see, most of the bromine has either been reacted with the mercury or it's boiled off, and a solid is starting to form in the bottom. There you can see the bromine vapor boiling off and being sucked away by my fume hood. The reaction is just about done now, and it's been a little over five minutes. Okay, it's finished, and as you can see, a white solid has formed in the bottom. This is mercury 1 bromide. The way that I can prove this is mercury 1 bromide is by putting it under a UV light. As you can see, it fluoresces this nice salmon color. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it, and I'm definitely excited that this is the first recording of this reaction. I'll be doing more bromine reactions in the future, so subscribe and stay tuned, and they'll be out soon. See you guys later. Bye.